Alright, here's a, um, a new area of a triangle formula, or a formula for area of a triangle, and you're going to find this one really useful. So here is a uh, non-right triangle, and I have it labeled according to our convention, and then I'm going to draw an altitude in here. That's an altitude, and I will label that H for height. Okay. So you were familiar with the standard area formula that area is one half the base times the height. All right, so in this triangle, we're going to say the base is C, just because that's the way I have it drawn. And we're going to say the height is H, because that's the way I have it drawn. All right, so you will recall, if I look at just this triangle, kind of just visualize that one for a minute, you will recall that the sine of alpha is opposite over hypotenuse in a right triangle, and this little one I have drawn is a right triangle. So the side opposite of alpha is H, and the hypotenuse in this triangle is B. Um, so I've got the sine of alpha is H over B, and I'm going to um, multiply both sides by B, so I have H equals B times the sine of alpha. Alright, then let's continue our work up here. So let's go back to area equals one half the base, and I'm saying the base is C times the height, and the height is h. Well, now I'm ready to do some substituting, because down here I said that h is b times the sine of alpha. So now I can say that the area is 1 half times c times b times the sine of alpha. And this is a new formula for the area of a triangle. And another way to say this, look at C and B and alpha here, see? So here's C, let's do it in a different color. So here's B, here's C, and here's alpha. So you could say that the area is one half, we'll call it leg, times leg, <laughs> times the angle between them. Then you don't have to worry about C's and B's and everything. So if you've got, if you know the leg and the leg, or side and side as we call them, and the angle between them, side, angle, side, you are ready to calculate the area of a triangle.